Let's talk about creating buttons in Canvas, which is something that is definitely a more advanced skill because I have to go to another website in order to create the buttons. However, it can definitely spice up your Canvas page and it can make it a little bit more easier for students to navigate. So I'm, I'm in my school's English credit recovery course that we're going to be using for summer school. And right now I'm on the home page, like the landing page for this course. And what I did was I created four buttons in Canva, which is a website that lets you create graphics and things for free. And I just made four different buttons for the four different levels of English because if I actually go to the modules in this course, there are so many items in here if all of the modules are open. So this is just for one course. Here's for the second one. Here's third one. And then here's the fourth one. It's a lot. It's a lot to see. And when students first pull it up, it's going to look like this. So I created these buttons so they work like this. If I'm in English 3, I can just click this English 3 button. It's going to think. And then it's going to take me, boom, directly to the English 3 module. And I didn't have to do any scrolling or looking or thinking about it. It did the thinking for me. Here's another example of how you can use buttons. I'm going to go to one of my other courses. And we have some buttons here that take us to a bunch of different places. This button will take me to the modules. This will take me to an About Your Teacher page. This will take to the syllabus. This will take me to some resources. All of these are buttons. And really, the buttons you can create with any image. You don't have to make custom images like these. You can take any image from Google or that you already have and hyperlink it and bam, it becomes a button. So let's play with that some. So I'm going to go back to this credit recovery course and I'm going to edit. And you can do this on an assignment, on a page. This is a page. So all I needed to do is insert my pictures. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to do this just so you can see. I'm going to click on this image here and click upload image. And then I need to add an image. And I don't know if I actually have any images. Um, I may have one. There's a wallpaper. <laughs> we'll just use it for right now. It's going to upload it. I'm going to hit submit and it's going to throw it onto the page. Okay, now it is ready for me to hyperlink it. So let's pretend that this image actually said quizzes and I wanted this to link to all the quizzes on my page or in my course. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to come up here to the actual hyperlink button and instead of external links, I'm going to hit course links. And what's going to bring up is everything that's in my course. You can hyperlink to anything. For me, I may want to hyperlink directly to modules, which is what I did with these four buttons. But since I said I wanted to hyperlink to quizzes, I'm going to click quizzes. Boom, it puts it in. I'm going to hit save. And then you need to test it. So now if I come down here and click this galaxy, guess where it's going to take me? To my quizzes. Now here's what I will say. Don't feel like you have to make a button for everything. I think that's actually counterintuitive when it comes to this. This is supposed to make it easier for students to navigate. I think this could be super, super helpful with elementary school children. Um, and also... You see students who may need some um, graphics to help them understand something more. 
For instance, if I wanted to link to my interactive notebook, I could put a picture of a notebook here and students would know that they click here to go to their notebook. You can use this in so many ways. Now, like I said, if you want to be super extra like me, you can go to websites like Canva and plenty of other websites where you can create graphics like this, import them, and then hyperlink them and turn them into buttons. I just make sure to give students directions because they may not know that these are hyperlinked. So they don't change colors or anything. Now, if I mouse over them, you'll see they actually say what they link to. But students don't really do that. So I make sure to tell them, click the button below to go to what you need or whatever. Click the galaxy to go to quizzes or whatever you need. So we just learned how to use buttons in Canvas. And I hope this can make your Canvas course a little bit more exciting and fun and easier for students to navigate.